Mystery Booster's retail release is coming up very soon, and tomorrow afternoon we find out exactly which foils are going to be in the retail release. For more, we go to our reporter in the field, Jake. Jake, can you hear me? Yes, thank you, Joel. Today we are talking about Mystery Boosters. Tomorrow there is going to be a big mystery booster foil announcement we're finally going to get some insight on what foils are actually in mystery boosters but we have a couple predictions of foils that we think would be really cool to appear in the set the video starts right now Special thanks to our Patreon supporters who power our channel. Check out our Patreon for monthly giveaways, exclusive content, and even a starring role in our fanfight series. Link in the description below. Hello and welcome to the day. Thank you for spending your time with us. Welcome back to another episode of Jake and Joel are Magic. I am Joel and our reporter in the field is Jake. We are going to get into the foils of Secret Layer retail release, but first, if you wouldn't mind hitting that subscribe button for us, it really helps us out. Make sure you stick around to the end of the video. We will be talking about five cards that have leaked as definitely having foils printings in secret layer or you can make sure to turn the video off if you don't want it to be spoiled. I'll warn you again before the spoilers happen. Gavin announced on Twitter today that we're going to get our first look at the full retail release of Mystery Boosters via their Twitch channel, Wizards Twitch channel, tomorrow at 2 p.m. Pacific or 5 p.m. Eastern. I say tomorrow, it is Thursday when we're shooting this. If you're watching this on Friday, it's happening today at 2 p.m. Pacific, 5 p.m. Eastern. They will be drafting some of Mystery Boosters and they will also be revealing which foils will be in the set. Let's go live to Jake in the field for what he believes will be the foils in the set or at least a few predictions that he has. Jake? Thanks again, Joel. It's really exciting that a lot of these Mystery Boosters foils are about to start getting spoiled. But before we start to see all these spoilers, I wanted to talk about some cards that I think would be really fun inclusions in the foil slot, cards that I think need a reprint. The first card that I wanna talk about is Eternal Master's Force of Will foil. This is a card that commands a super high price point, and it's a card that is in desperate need of a reprint. It's a legacy staple, and it's also a card that has a lot of demand in EDH. Now I know you're probably thinking, Jake, this is an insane inclusion, but, I think that this is one of the kind of cards that are really going to blow open the hype for this set. It's really going to be one of these cards that people are going to be like, oh my god, Foil Force? Oh my gosh, I want to buy these boxes. I want to crack these packs. From an LGS perspective, it's the kind of thing that's going to get people in drafts. And again, it's important to note how this set closely resembles a master set. Having 24 packs and also foils in every pack, but at half the price of a normal master's pack. I don't know, something to think about. It's a spicy, it's a spicy guess. I know that it is, but maybe, just maybe, we're gonna see it. The next card that I wanna talk about is Thoughtseize, the original Lorewind printing. This is a printing that is in high demand. It's an original foil that's beautiful. I think that this foil inclusion would be a, a great inclusion for the reason that Thoughtseize has really taken off in Pioneer, and it's a fair card. It's a card that just, it makes sense. It's one for one. A lot of people like to complain about Thoughtseize, but I think that Thoughtseize is, you know, it's it's a balanced, a well-balanced card. It's not going to get banned. It doesn't make sense to ban it. Anybody who likes to cry about Thoughtseize being too powerful just hasn't played against it enough. It's one of those cards that, like, late game as a top deck is oftentimes a big whiff. So it's a card that's just fair, and I think the original foil lore wind printing is another thing that could really, really push demand uh, for mystery boosters. My last prediction, and I know this is an especially spicy one, is foil future sight Tarmogoyf. I think that this card is just absolutely amazing. Car Tarmogoyf is one of those cards that over the past few years has become increasingly easy to answer. Uh, the foil, the original foil printing commands such a high price point, especially in foreign foils, but I think right now would be a great time to reprint this old iconic card in one of the coolest old frames that uh, honestly, like Future Sight had such weird frames and it was such a weird time for Magic that I think what better time now than in Mystery, mystery Boosters to bring back the OG Tarmogoyf as foil. I know it's a spicy pick, you might think I'm crazy. Wizards of the Coast doesn't acknowledge the secondary market. They've put an emphasis on old border foils in this set. I think we could see Tarmogoyf. And you know, I think that we could even see Tarmogoyf in the future in a standard set. 
with the power creep and as easy as it has become to answer, I think it's just a fair card. What do you think of my predictions? Make sure to let me know in the comments. We had a weird video today. I'm out, I'm out in the field. Until next time, I will catch you later. We kick it back to Joel now for some spicy info. Thanks, Jake. Great report. I told you I'd warn you again before spoilers, so this is it. We're going to discuss the five cards that have leaked so far that we are pretty sure are going to be in foil in Mystery Boosters. They include Blasting Station, Blighted Agent, Isamaru, Maronar, and Reaper King. It's notable that of those five leaks, Maronar and Reaper King were just reprinted in Secret Layer, so those aren't really anything new to the market. However, if we have older cards being reprinted, there might be some 7th edition foils in the old style foiling that haven't been reprinted since that set, so those could be interesting to look out for. As always, let us know what you think. Let us know if you are excited about Mystery Boosters. I am very interested to go to my local game store and draft the set, and we'll see exactly what the financial implications are as soon as the set has released. We appreciate you watching. If you wouldn't mind hitting that like and subscribe button, it really helps us out. If you want to support us further, we have a Patreon. The link is down in the description below. We've got monthly giveaways and exclusive content over there, so check it out and see if we're a good fit. If you'd like to hang out with us, we are streaming most Tuesday and Thursday evenings over on Twitch. That's all for now. I'm tapped out.